Hello, I have I am come I have come from the future to tell you five likes. I played this again. Freddy is staring at me, Bonnie and Chica look in there with glee, yeah. I see the lights behind them there. The five nights of Freddy's VR appears in a square. Mic drop. to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. I'm ready. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's oh, true that yeah. some stories yeah, yeah, that associated exists. with our name were loosely based on actual <gasps> events, oh my gosh, the majority it's of them <gasps> are <gasps> fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Oh no. Game. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. <laughs> ha, 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 hilarious VR game. In the hopes hilarious. that we can finally move past <gasps> oh these gosh. childish ghost stories and develop a new <gasps> oh relationship oh with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch for <gasps> birthdays. So oh my, and oh stop, I'm too stories. scared to play this game. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree, and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Oh, the scroll Thank feature you for was playing the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. No problem. Whoa, whoa. I, you know, I don't, I don't agree. You know, I'm just you a acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment I know. is not responsible for accidental no. digital ah, consciousness wait, transfers. Ah. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Thank Use you. Use the counting experiences available. Oh, why am I so out of breath? It's probably the fighting that I just did. Okay, so we can replay time. No, we can do showtime. Uh, okay, so we, we so we have a couple options here. Uh, we we can do showtime. At least, at least, at least, at least <laughs> it's. Uh, My my game my game broke. What's the prize counter? Urgh. Ooh, a uh, coin. Um, uh, okay. Basketball. Bat bat basketball. Bat 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 bat. Oof. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so we got FNAF one, FNAF two, FNAF three, dark rooms. Ugh, no. Uh, parts and service. Vent repair and night terrors. Okay, let's start with traditional FNAF one. Woohoo! Okay, so five nights of Freddy's push buttons. Survive until six a.m. Got it. Uh, okay. Yes. Hi. How do I? I'd like to. What are you looking at? No, 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 no. No trash can? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's my joke! Good night. No, 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 no. Ooh. You know what? I actually feel strong right here. I don't feel strong. I do not feel strong. Oh. Both? Nope. I'm too scared to play this game. I'm honestly too scared to play this game. I'm on- No. Okay, you know what, Bonnie? I can't! I can't! Stop. Stop, you know what? 
Ah! Oh my gosh, I can see him nowhere because my door is closed. Let's let's take a peeky peek at Bonnie. Chica's not there. Bonnie's not there either. Oh my gosh, am I gonna win my first night? That's actually surprising because I'm already at... Stop, don't play the sounds with me. I'm gonna survive the night. 5 a.m. and I'm not gonna lie, I think. And I know that I'm gonna get to 6 a.m. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! I feel like a donkey on... Uh, creepy. I hate this, because, you know, my thoughts are, with the curtains, th there's going to be a, a funny foxy, and he's just going to be like, Hey, buddy, so, um, you have a, you have a 73 in math. That's, uh, not good. It's a, it's a chica chug. You know what? You know what we do with the Chica Chugs? We chug it. But... The can is gone. That... <laughs> Why? Why are you here? You, you have been mean to me for the last time. Okay, so let's, let's take a, let's take a look. What, yeah, okay, so obviously dark rooms is just plush trap, I guess. There's vent repair, we haven't seen vent repair. Night terrors is like FNAF 4. And then we haven't seen parts and service, should we? Oh! Okay, let's try it. We're gonna try the parts and service. Grab and release, push buttons, make make repair oh no. Oh no. It looks like Bonnie's <laughs> is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both Shove eyes your... must first be removed. I'm so must scared. Be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Bonnie, hold me. Oh. Coin. Okay, where do we? Where is the? Where do we? Uh. Oh. Grab his eye socket. Yes, cause we must. I'm not doing that. There's buttons. Can I? Don't just get me. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I don't even. Okay. You know what? Maybe we should listen to the instructions. That would be a good idea. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Okay, grip Bonnie's left eye. That would be the, this one, cause it... Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Okay. Well done. Now, firmly grip ah. Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Good job. I get to you're scared Bonnie's face plate, playing this Carefully games. press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Okay. I heard two small clicks last time, but I also heard a... Well done. Oh! You now have access to Bonnie's Stop. harmonization module. That's Press not the funny. blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. I can see every little pixel on your face. Don't hurt me. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Red. 
Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Yeah, yeah, you know, Great you know. Job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. You just slam right on there. And then bop. And Well done. Bop. That concludes your <laughs> services task. See you next time. What? Hold on. Meat bite? Hold on. What? Meat bites XL. Someone. Why do I actually want this treat? <laughs> Yo, man. Let's go home and eat some meat bites. Extra large. Okay, uh. I. I also ate the bag. Uh. You know, in this world, you don't have to dispose of... He's gone. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We saw, we saw one of those purple thingies at the title, so I'm gonna replay the title real quick. We do, however, ask that you Actually, this was one of... Let's do Chica. Let's do Chica. Let's see what Chica has in store for us. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the juice bin. Oh my gosh! I want a slice of that pizza. It looks so good. Uh, pizza? Oh my gosh, it's going. What are you looking at? To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Okay, I'm actually. Oh no. Stop! It's like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To oh my gosh, I can't play this. Oh. Apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Oh, they know how to. Avoid scare their players, the scare their players, scare their players. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. And cupcake plate? Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job. There we go! Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Delicious. See you next time. Who oh, no! Me bites, except it's not extra large. <laughs> this. We hope you're this. enjoying the Fazbear virtual experience. I am. Please Night two. Let's uh, go. <laughs> yeah, you're right, bro. <laughs> no. Chica's there. Where is Bonnie? Closed door. Where's Bonnie? Oh, Bonnie's there. Why am I getting Discord notifications? Ah! Okay, that's fine. We're fine. We're good. We're okay. Foxy, on the other hand. No! Bad! Bad! The old man, and then Bon. Oh! Oh no! Oh my no, my no, my no! Honestly, can't. What? Why are you moving? The power's not even out, bro. I have to close that door. Oh no, it's 5 a.m. I'm about to die to that guy. I'm about to die to that guy. It's 5 a.m. Don't think I'm gonna survive. Yeah, yeah, Bunny is attacking me. Yeah, I really wish that I could flee. Oh my gosh, the power cuts out, but then it makes it to 6 a.m. So I went like pow. Yeah, I just survived the night. Yeah, five nights with fright. 
10 likes and I make a song called Five Nights at Fright. That was actually like sick, bro, though. Night 3, the Freddy Fazbender. <laughs> Let's think of a plan. I need to be smarter. I need to work smarter, not smarter. Oh, Foxy, I've got to worry about Foxy again. Okay, um... Door is... Okay, Freddy, thank you. Okay, good. Then Bonnie's... At the door, I almost freaked out. 40 power left. I'm actually so worried. I wasn't even checking Foxy. That's like... Rookie mistake. Rook, 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 rook. Rum, bum, 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 bum. Ree. I don't feel safe opening my door, even though I don't feel safe... Closing my... I... We won. That was so stressful. That's probably the most stressful night I've had in my life that we... Oh my gosh, exotic butters? Except exotic butter? You want to do Freddy next? Yeah, come on, let's do Freddy next. Let's do the Freddy Faz. The Frezzy, the Frezzy Faz. Good. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. I just Hopefully, realized... Grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. I just realized how big Freddy is. This is how big he is right now, and Freddy's got a he still has good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. His feet that he can jump good up. Good job. On. Now place the hat in the lost and found. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Okay. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place what it in that? the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. There we go. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. How does this stuff even the music box get and in extract there? it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends? Carefully, place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Ha! No, it's in well there. done. Thank Return you. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Okay. Oh, no. oh my gosh! You to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. What's wrong with you? Replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. It's right there. Crisis averted. <laughs> to close Freddy's chest cavity. Press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't expect to eat it. I was trying to look at it. Can I eat plushies? Why is that my first thought? Oh, why? Why? Give me a cockroach. Hi. Ugh, I hate bugs. This one's for the team. Yummy. Oh my gosh, more. Hold on. <laughs> Bruh! 
well, great going. You think I'm gonna... Okay, you know what? If you want to play this game, not how I want to play it, I'm not gonna play this game how you want to play it. It's gone. Okay, well that was for nothing. This. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I still haven't looked at this. So there's two. There was one, one, four, four, two, and one. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do the cassette. I wait. What? What am I doing? Uh, hi. Great greetings. Uh, five tapes. Tape one, I guess. Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't okay. a mis I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files. In a place that only a beta tester would look, and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it, that we haven't been able to fully contain, or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. Okay, tape number two. I saw it for the first time today. You did? There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Con 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 continue. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. But as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds no. made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Look pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. 